wife bought me that jacket for Christmas. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> it's a pleasure for me to be here, and uh, Julian, I can't thank you enough for the kind words and what you've had to go through you know, to, uh, to do this. But uh, Trent, I want to wish you good luck in Georgia. Uh, I know Chris Hack is a great golf coach, and uh, you'll have a good time in that. Uh, it's hard for me to put into words what this honor means to me and my family. To follow Jay Haas, my brother-in-law, and Dillard Train, my uncle, into the South Carolina Golf Hall of Fame is a very humbling experience. I feel that Charlie Roundtree started this process a few years back for me, and I want to thank him personally. Julie Taylor has done a tremendous amount of work making calls, contacts, writing letters, along with all the documentation needed to make this a special day for us. I'm at a loss of words of gratitude, Julian. Thank you so much. My goal is to be short. There are, uh, there are people that I want to recognize in moments of my life that have put me where I am today and that I want to share with you. Georgia Monona Pruitt were tremendous parents with a passion for the game of golf. My dad was a three-sport lineman at Furman, football, basketball, and golf. But the golf came from my mother's side of the train. J.P. Train and my mom's dad came, uh, was an influence in the golf of the upstate. He built and ran Paris Mountain Country Club. All nine of his children and his wife were to work at the club in some aspect. His son, Dillard Train, taught me the very basics, the grip and the stance. I felt like they were very important. His son Kyle is here today with Ann and his wife. And I want to thank Kyle for being here today. Thanks, Kyle. I grew up playing golf at Green Valley Country Club. It was a fantastic place to grow up. But what they did so special was John Gary. John, where'd you where, I know you're here. John, thank you so much. And his wife Joe is here. Uh, William Miller, John ended up going after Green Valley, going to Holly Tree, where uh, I traveled a lot to uh, play with his son and get lessons. But, uh, and then Willie Miller was the pro that came in after John, and Willie ended up becoming the uh, golf coach at Furman. At Travelers Rest High School, it looks. <laughs> At Chapman West High School, I had a great basketball and golf coach, Joe Small is his name. Uh, he, he, I was not a good basketball player, and, uh, but he taught me a lot of things that helped me, I think, further my career as far as uh, that prepared me for playing golf. You know, in the game of golf, you don't win all the time. Very seldom do you win, so it's how you handle those the days that you don't win. Uh, a good friend of mine, my best friend from high school, Jimmy Barnett, here with his wife, Ann Lynn. He played on the basketball team with me at Travel Fest. Uh, we had a really good time. TR was a great place. I was recruited by Bobby Robinson to play golf at Clemson. And Clemson obviously means a lot to me. It's a very special place. The thing that I think of the most when I think of Clemson is, is the team that they gave me. And uh, Julian obviously are team, his teammates of mine, his wife Megan is here today. Tony Nemo and his wife Patsy are here and uh, they have a child that's playing at, uh, at Clemson right now, Bryson. He's doing a really good job of playing playing great. Norman Chapman, his wife Muffet couldn't be here, but Norman's one of my teammates. Jim and Hope McAfee are here today, and uh, it, it was a we, we had a special group. We had a special team. I'm not sure that we were the best team, uh, but we got along, and we cheered for each other. We all desired the same thing, score good, and I think that was the key for our success. Cause I really did. Uh, Bob Gillespie asked me once over the phone what was my greatest accomplishment at all. And uh, it was easy for me to answer. It, it was not my 
achievement. It was the achievement of a team that won the 1982 ACC Golf Championship. It was Clemson's first golf championship, and still today it's something I, I don't hang very many trophies in my house, so I'm going to tell you. But I have my uh, ACC uh, Team Championship trophy in there. Uh, Larry Kinley has coached there for over 30 years. Larry, when, uh, when I was a freshman, was a senior on the golf team. Where's Larry there? Uh, he was a senior, and then by the time I was a senior, he was my golf coach. Larry's had a tremendous career at Clemson, winning the national championship. Uh, I'm going to guess at eight or ten, eight, nine ACC championships? Nine. Nine. Very good. Uh, but I think Larry's success was because of the foundation that Bob Robinson laid. And, uh, just want to say that. Uh, one of my other roommates in college is here at UBC and his wife, Tina. I want to thank them for coming here. Uh, 1984, my father passed away with a year disease. A year later, my mother of cancer. I uh, played on the European tour in 86 and 87, and a gentleman named Ed Kilby was very, uh, was helping me. I didn't have the money to travel over there to play. And uh, Ed is no longer living, but I just wanted to mention his name and thank him for doing that for me. Uh, playing the tour started in 88, and I played 90 to 96. Early in my career, uh, there again, I had the financial issues and I just need to thank uh, the Self family from Greenwood. They were uh, a big help to me. I represented Combat Dunes for a couple of years on the PGA Tour, and uh, they were financially supportive. Jay Self is here today. Can't thank him enough and his, uh, his family. Uh, 1996, I decided not to play golf, and if you look at that picture right there, You'll probably decide, you know, it'll tell you why I was playing golf. That's some bad news. <laughs> but uh, 1998, I got extremely lucky. There's two gentlemen from Mississippi, Harvey Ben and Ben Nelson, that uh, for some reason took a life to me. Decided to hire me to be on the rule staff at the PGA Tour. I was, uh, I don't think I was really qualified. There were a lot of things that I was qualified to do, but the rules, you know, it was something that, uh, that they taught me and, uh, and they helped me through it. And uh, uh, I want to thank Steve Carmen. Steve and his wife Donna are here. They, uh, you know, our crew travels a lot. And uh, Steve is one of my bosses, on-site bosses. And, uh, and I appreciate him being here. He done it. <coughs> 2008 was a tough year for me. Uh, my wife, Brian, passed away. And uh, she was, had cystic fibrosis. She was at a hospital up in Chapel Hill. She uh, was waiting on a double lung transplant. Two of her best friends are here today, Beverly Hooken. And Robin Connor, I want to thank him for being here. Three years later, I would meet a girl named Susan Hendricks. And uh, things started getting better in my life, as far as the personal life goes. Uh, Susan and I had something in common. Uh, she had lost her husband in 2008 as well. Uh, a sudden, a sudden death. Uh, funny stories, on our second day, we were in Greenville at a restaurant and Susan asked me if I would like to go to Athens, Georgia to watch a Georgia South Carolina football game. <laughs> So the game began between us. We've become very strong because of this, uh, because of our loss, and uh, it's a very special relationship that we have. Uh, Susan has a great family, 
a couple of our members of our families here, Walter and Deborah Kane are here. I want to thank them for being here, Candy and T-Mike are here as well. This, uh, this June will be married four years now. Uh, you know, when I think about golf, and I think about, I, I, because it's what I've done for so long, I think about professional golf. Uh, I think about players taking the game to the highest level that you can and see if you can perform. And uh, when I was playing out on tour, you know, Jay was out there talking about people from South Carolina. There wasn't very many. Jay was, Jay was there. There were, uh, you know, Mike Holland was not really there, but had been out there. You know, Steve Lieber was there, but uh, you know, he was kind of going out when I was uh, when I was coming in. And then you had Charlie Reimer. That, uh, that when I was going out, he, he was kind of coming in a little bit. But uh, I think what I I want to call out some names because I think it's important to realize that when I was playing before I was playing, not very many players from South Carolina was playing professional golf on the PGA Tour. And, uh, and now players like Charles Moore, Kyle Thompson, you know, Matt Hendricks, Chris Patton, Tommy Beershank, and then you've got winners from South Carolina playing on tour. Wesley Bryan, who in my opinion achieved a great accomplishment this year in the RBC. First native born South Carolinian. You know, the greatest professional golf tournament in the state. I mean, well, well, I, I, I know he realizes it, but he will really realize it one day again, later in life. Uh, you've got Tommy Gamey, William McGurk, Ben Martin, and then you have multiple winners from this state. You've got DJ Trahan, Kevin Kisner, Lucas Glover, who I, I believe I'm saying that Lucas was the first native born South Carolinian to win a major. I think that's an accomplishment. That's a great accomplishment. Jonathan Bird, my nephew, Bill Haas, who won the Tour Championship. It's an unbelievable accomplishment. And then you have Dustin Johnson, who at the present moment is ranked number one in professional golf for a state this size. It says a lot. You know, we've got great players, and they make things happen. But there are people behind them that make that happen, too. People doing administrative work. People being out in the golf park, setting up a golf course. And that's where a person like Pat Lathrop, you know, comes in. Pat Lathrop touched every one of these players that I've mentioned. And uh, Pat has done an unbelievable job. And Biff, you've got a job in front of you. I know you're going to do a great job. And behind those two, you have Phillips. <laughs> Thanks for dealing with me through this process. You know, I can be a little stubborn. And, uh, but, uh, this is a great day for me and my family and my friends. Jerry, you know, came in from Charleston. He's from Winston-Salem. But all of my family that's here, Kendall from Charlotte came down. Uh, Steve Wilmot from Hill Head worked together closely with him and worked with him and Kendall Bowe. But uh, I said this was going to be short. I've got one more thing I would like to say. And this is because uh, I'm in awe of what he's done in his career. And when you think of, when I think of uh, who's at the top of golf in South Carolina, and somebody has to be, and I want you to think about something when you're, uh, when you're driving home or is Jay Haas made 592 cuts on the PGA Tour. I'm not counting the Champions Tour. 592, he didn't play in 592 tournaments. He made 592 cuts 
I mean, if you think about that, that's 20 years of making 30 cuts a year. I mean, no one made, no one plays in 30 cuts a year. And you don't make every cut that you make. So Jay has been a huge inspiration to me. And when Jay and Jay met in the late 70s, and my, my game went from, you know, average to above average, and it was simply because of being able to play golf with him, being able to watch him play, and uh, my parents were overjoyed back at JMJ out there. Uh, so I really don't have much else to say, but to say thank you. This is an honor for me, and I hope that I represent you in fashion that I do. Thank you so much.